Okay, Steinway. Steinway upright. And what's this one? Let's see. Number 57747. You can't see it in there, but the serial number is right there. And anyways, first thing we do is, well, we're starting to take the buttons off. These were originally rosewood, and they were uh, glued in. But these are uh, replacement buttons, and they're made of rubber, and they have a nail holding them in. Just like this. So, we lift them out. They look like rosewood, but... They weren't. So now we're going to disassemble the entire case. And let's take a note of these here first. These are going to be tricky. These looks that's factory done that. And it's beautiful, but it's I think it was laid in with some kind of gold leaf or something. And if we strip that with paint remover, it will be gone. So I'm going to attempt to repair these panels and see if I can save that in the back there. These are really cool. We'll have some more pictures of these there. We got a harp there and a clarinet, and a lute, a few things. Pretty cool. And these decals are next to impossible to get. So, this is, I'm also going to try to save this. We'll see what happens. Keys are bad. And the cabinet's not too bad. Pretty good shape. And uh, anyways, we'll uh, we'll continue here for a moment. This here, we didn't see this before. It's, uh, it seems like it's hollow in here. See this crack here? Run it all the way down. Also. Also, this is proud here. Looks like it's been that way a long time. See how it's flush here? And sticking out here. It's hollow in there. Solid here. Hollow. I think it came unglued from inside. So, uh, we uh, also noticed this over here. This a little loose it goes up and down a little bit here and if I pry it a little bit harder this, this opens up here you can see the crack opening up the other side doesn't and I, I've never seen one do this usually they're very solid so we may have to do some surgery in here we may have to take this off take a look in here because if you want stability ugh, you can see top floor is warping like this because it's unglued somewhere in here looks like this piece of wood went up here so we're going to investigate that and see what's going on but I don't really don't think it'll uh, compromise the integrity of the back we just might have to just glue this down here Maybe I have to inject some glue in back here. Drill a hole here. Looks like there's already a hole drilled there. It looks like it was plugged. Anyways, we'll drill a hole in here and see what we can do. Maybe put some uh, hot glue back there, hot hide glue. We'll see. Anyways, we're going to investigate that. Also down here, it's all okay here. We can glue this down. Loose veneer here. That's, that's not no big deal because it's all there. Usually this is all ripped and missing, so we can just push this back. But everything else is pretty solid, which is a surprise. 
Usually these are all loose. They're not. Um, it, it was in a moisture place, that's for sure, because look at the mold in the back here. Whoops, got a couple screws. Got some mildew back here. And now is the opportune time to give that a bath back here and clean it out good. Now that's in pretty good shape. Um, go. So we got a couple of a couple of spots where that need attention, um, but nothing too serious. And the other side is the same. Loose veneer over here. No, wait, I don't feel any. I thought it was. Let me move it over here. Oh yeah, right here. Not as bad as the other side though, but we can fix that. It's loose all the way up to here. You can hear it. Anyways, we just glue it back. That's no big deal. And everything else looks fine. Looks like somebody plated the pedals once because they're in really good condition and that can't possibly be the original. Looks like somebody had them done over, but boy, I, I don't know. Everything looks too dusty to be <laughs> to be replaced at one time, so... Um, and I don't see any major cracks in the bridges. We looked at it before. Um, so anyways, that's what, uh, that's a good, uh, overview of what we're gonna, we're gonna have to, to do of our job here. These keys, we'll have to deal with that. We're gonna wait till we get them out of the piano. And of course, uh, I'll probably take these leads out. The action department is in New York today, so we'll uh, have to wait to get a, uh, we'll say, a video evaluation of the action. So, there you have it. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. We took the plunge and we removed this board and little more violent way than I wanted to but it had to come off now this is just wood we can repair this and if you notice the construction in here get down like this inside here see this board was put on before they put the face on before the pin block was on so this was part of the back structure and I can see that there's putty here Somebody worked on this piano a long time ago, and the split that occurred here was was open, and they filled it with putty. See, this is all putty here. Okay, so the see, it's, it's a little bit worse than I thought. I didn't think it would be like this. I, I often thought that these were solid blocks of wood here. But see, now we'll be able to get back here. We'll be able to put the glue in back and just re-glue them. I can feel it. Sounds like a bolt back there coming through from the front. Probably right here. I can't tell. Anyways, there's something in there. Um, but it's also we'll be able to get at this glue joint, see? We'll be able to pull this back down, secure this, and secure this block here. This block here, it moved up a little bit. This had a shear this way in order for this to go up and have a gap here. So we're going to have to investigate that and this over here. See this here? We're going to have to tighten those up. We're going to have to glue those in. And then... Once we secure this back back on here, that'll tie everything together. And when this is in good it with some good hot height glue, we'll uh, it'll make it strong again. It'll tie all this together. It'll be just like well, just like it was. Look at that. Some there's some severe 
real strong forces in here to tear this apart. Just pull the pull the face of the block right off, and uh, this whole thing went up. I don't know why, but it did. So there we have it. This is a, a little unpleasant discovery, but we can fix it. Good old high glue. Still good. You can put this back in the water and be just like it was the day it went into the piano, this old high glue. Here. And there was no messages in here, but there's putty. This is indication that this happened a long time ago. This opened up and somebody wanted to hide the crack. Probably because they wanted to sell it. And uh, they didn't want anybody seeing the crack back here. Pretty sneaky, huh? So, there you have it. This is all loose here. Let's pull it open. So, it'll be good again. It'll be like new. This is loose too. See that? This whole thing here. It's the only spot that was glued right there. So when we start prying this up this way, it will come off. So we're going to take the rest of this off. Might have to use a little steam. But we'll see. So far, so good. There's only one little spot holding this whole thing on here. Well, maybe it'll come off from down this end. This side seems pretty pretty tight right here. It might be a little trouble. But over here, it's completely loose. All the way over to here. Some glue holding it there, not much. It's holding on for dear life. Put this all back together here. This is this will go back together. This will go back together nice and it'll be one piece again. But we we'll pop that right off. And this will glue back good. All those little pieces will glue back. Look at this is the only thing holding it. it was right here. This little piece was holding it up there and we had a hard time pulling this off. But it popped off. Now we can get access to all this and it'll be very good. Looks like almost look like this moved here. Some of it's caused by shrinkage. And what do we got over here? A little space here, not much. But it does go in there. See that that top is loose a little bit there. We'll wedge this open as much as we can. Get this all good and hot and we'll hide glue everything good. Mush all these full of glue in here. Well that's pretty pretty bad in there. It's loosened up a little bit. A strange construction <laughs> if you ask me. Well there we have it. Not bad. We'll take it down take it down in the hot water. See and if we get some real hot water we'll wash all this glue off of here. It'll just wash right off. Chisel it off. 
and then uh, we'll join these pieces together here like so we'll take the slivers out we'll put it back together I know it looks rough but you'll see once this is glued back together it will be very almost invisible <laughs> here so this was supposed to be glued here too this is this. probably won't come off completely but it might if I just pull it a little bit hard here. that's pretty strong we'll just we'll just put the glue in back of here and clamp this up we won't have any troubles with this it's not that bad here if I can't pull it out like that it's okay, okay. Another thing to do. Okay, are the pins tight? Some of them are. This one seems pretty good. That one's pretty good, but this one here is not. See? That one wouldn't stay in tune. Oh, there's another one. See, it's loose. That one's pretty tight. That one's, they're all different different tightness See, this one here is really loose but that's a good indication that the pin block is in good shape in the back and uh, we're going to uh, take them up put an oversized pin in here and uh, that should that should make this look like new I mean it should there's it seems good so that's what we're gonna do oh, see that one's loose too it's all going to come apart. These Steinways take some screws out here. These here, these here, they hold this to the case. And once those screws are out, this whole assembly comes right out. And all you have left is these little pieces of wood from here down. This comes off. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. It's a unique, not unique to this company. Other pianos have done this too pretty much for getting them upstairs in small apartments so uh, we're gonna take it apart yeah, even, the wheels are good. even the wheels are good usually these are broken 90% of the time they're not free like this either this has been in a nice dry space all its life very good Usually they're broken and bent, so that's a plus. Base strings look good. We're going to attempt to clean these with a chemical process and then reinstall them. We'll see. And the bridges look beautiful. One screw holds that leg in. Pretty neat how they got that in there. Same over here. it easy number 742 I don't know what that is case numbers 747 42 I don't know here's a nice bottom board that we put aside for later the next thing to go after is these screws hidden down here in this nice bird's eye maple that no one ever sees that are holding on the edge this board comes out too there we go
hidden screw. Mm, maybe. Let's see if there wasn't one on that side. There probably. That yeah, looks like a screw. Aha! Uh -huh. One more screw. thing off. We'll clean up all this dirt. Put this aside, aside for later. There. Somebody August 19th. Be uh, careful with that. August 1986. Got these bolts out here. And of course, these ones over here have a different size head. This one's quite bent too. We might need to straighten that out later. We're about to get ready to do some rubbings on the strings. Save these. This one is shorter for some reason. This one goes on the right side there. So we remember where they go. Okay, we're lifting out the center well, portion of the piano. Better make sure you can Key beds. Stuck. Been in there a hundred years. Probably the paint, yeah, the paint's holding it. That's what they call by a piano that splits in half. They come right apart. And you can actually do this if you have to get it into an apartment somewhere and it has to go around a corner. You can actually take this part off if you had to and the keys would stay right on it. But there's the back. They call it a string back or the strong back. And then, uh, well, there you have it. Put it over there. Here we have a little tiny nickel-plated flathead screw. That was down here in the dirt. We'll save all this the shim here. It's over here. Razor blade. Okay. Okay, well, what I'm doing right now is extracting the base strings so that they can be cleaned and put back in. And the way that's done is by pulling these coils off of the pins. You can see they're, they're wrapped around three or four times and tucked in. And being spring steel, it's a little bit of a process to get them out without damaging them, but this is how we do it. I've turned this one down a little bit, you know, much like so if I just turn that one down a little bit, you can see the, the coil does what I call blooming, and it spreads out away from the coil. It lets me get my little tool in here and pry that back out just a little bit, and that takes up some of the collected tension. And you turn it a little bit more. Coil blooms a little bit more. And then, there, see how far that one came out then? And the coil pulled back in. Do that a couple of times. If I can, and eventually, you can pop the becket out. And then we can get the string off without. Uh, any further stress on the wires and after cleaning it's just a reverse process to put them back in.